The gate is open. This must be where Poodles gets her beauty clay, but it's too dark to see anything. I'm going to have to figure out a way to light up this joint. The phosphorescent compound of Quack's spy mint worked perfectly. The mint is lighting up the entire room, and it was very refreshing. It's Poodle's beauty clay. That's one of the vital ingredients Pushpin needs to make the congeal pill. In the green glow of the spy mint, all the clay looks the same. Maybe this will be the right kind. A sticky stun bun. How does this caramel confection work, Quack? You simply toss the caramel-coated spy gadget into a crowd, then get away fast. When the stun bun goes off, it will stun everyone within 10 feet, leaving them dazed and confused for weeks. Quack, that is by far your most stunning gadget yet. These blueprints provide me with all the fiber I need in my diet. Play-Doh Pushpin's key card worked like a charm. Er, a key, I mean. I'm in the cosmetics factory. I have two objectives in here. One, borrow Poodle's rocket ship. And two, find the informant Roger Bohr. Miss Galore, this comes up yeah, with the combinations for the safe. <laughs> I mean, the key to the rocket ship. All I can hear is mumbling. I'm going to need some auditory enhancement. If only I had an extra ear to hear what those guards are saying. So then he just dropped the entire load of cassavas. Wham! <laughs> the spy ear is working. Those guards are coming through loud and clear. Miss Galorisher comes up with wacky combinations for the safe containing the key to the rocket ship. Whoever heard of soothing shaving bubbles as a combination for a safe? Whatever happened to good old numbers? <laughs> the combination to the safe containing the key to Poodle's rocket ship. I'm going to need that key if I'm going to borrow that rocket. I'd better write it down. Oops, I'm going to get an earful from Quack about that. How 
diabolical. That device is some sort of hair security scanner. I'm going to have to get an appropriate hair of the day wig disguise if I'm going to get past this crazy contraption. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about the hair of the day. Well, this room is head and shoulders above the rest. It must be some kind of makeup test room. Psst, Spy Fox, over here. Eh, uh, who said that? Over here, the redhead. Roger Bohr. Wow, you had me wigged out there for a second. Sorry, there's been a lot of hairy stuff going on around here. If you need any info about Poodle's Cosmetic Factory, just ask. Roger, Roger. I don't suppose you would know what the hair of the day is. The hair of the day is a blue pompadour, accented with a delightful butterfly accessory. Sounds more like the hair of yesterday to me. Thanks for the information, Roger. Wow, this machine looks like some sort of scalp enhancement device, otherwise known as a wig-making machine. That screen shows the different styles of wigs this wigged-out machine can make. Those buttons change the wig color. Four fashion colors to choose from. That screen shows the different accessories I can add to my wig. I think I'll see how I look in this wig. This wig should make a good disguise. I'll keep it safe until I need it. Talk about Harry Scary. My wig disguise got me past that Harry scanner. I'll leave it here so I can get back out. That's what. I hope Quack's sticky stun bun has more than flower power in it. <laughs> the sticky stun bun worked. Quack's caramel coated confection has left those guards stuck in their tracks. It's the safe can. That crazy combination worked. I've got the key to Poodle's rocket ship. No safe is safe with this spy around. This rocket ship is locked up tighter than a really tight thing. I'm going to need a key to get into it. We have liftoff. The key worked. I'm sure Poodles will be mad that I borrowed her rocket, but it's her own fault for being evil. Sweet sabotage. Look at the size of that aerosol abomination. I've got to stop it before it depletes the ozone layer and everyone gets a nasty sunburn. APD. That must stand for aerosol particle diameter. 
Pushpin needs that number for his congeal pill. I'll just copy it onto a compact disc for safekeeping. Talk about Harry Scary. I think I'll leave this wig here for safekeeping. Here is the special clay you asked for, Pushpin. <laughs> Perfect, Mr. Spy Fox. Now all I need is... Chickle from the heart of the jungle. Secret Donut XY from the Donut Shop. The APD or aerosol particle diameter number from the orbiting aerosol can itself. And then I can complete the congeal pill. Here is the aerosol particle diameter number you wanted, Pushpin. Straight from the orbiting aerosol can itself. Excellent, Mr. Spyfox. Now all I need is... Chickle from the heart of the jungle. Secret Donut XY from the Donut Shop. And then I can complete the congeal pill. It took all of my spy abilities, but here is the Secret Donut XY. Thank you, Mr. Spy Fox. The glutinous quality of the secret filling is an essential ingredient of the congeal pill. Now all I need is... Chickle from the heart of the jungle. And then I can complete the congeal pill. Here is the chickle pushpin. The chickle! Its gummy quality is vital to the congeal pill. That is the final ingredient! Now I can finish the congeal pill! Mr. Spy Fox, you must toss this pill directly into the aerosol inside the orbiting aerosol can. It is highly unstable, so I would not waste any time getting out of the aerosol can. Got it. Pitch the pill and ditch the can. You should take this with you, Spy Fox. It's a Swiss spy knife. It's got a fork and a toothpick. That will come in handy if I'm ever caught dining without utensils. It also has a pair of chromium alloy high tensile strength wire cutters that can cut through sheer metal. Talk about Harry Scary.
poodles galore, your dog day of ozone depletion has departed. What? I don't think so. You weren't very good at bowling either, darling. Just who are you anyway? Fox. Spy Fox. And in the name of Spy Corps... I hereby place you under spy arrest. Not today, Foxy! I must warn you that I'm an expert in cock-a-doodle food. That steel net will keep you out of trouble. Now to finish my cosmetic caper. Well, I've certainly gotten myself into a fine steel mesh this time. I have to get out of this steel net and get that congeal pill back. Maybe there's something in Quack's Swiss spy knife that will get me out of this fine mesh. Uh, maybe I can use the toothpick to pick my way out. Well, that leaves the chromium alloy high tensile strength wire cutters that can cut through solid steel. I hope they work. That did the trick. Now I need to get back the congeal pill. I'm glad today wasn't garbage collection day. This time I'll be super ultra sneaky when I toss this into the aerosol. That aerosol will be nothing more than a clumpy mess when Pushpin's congeal pill is done with it. This time I'll keep my actions to myself. Congeal! Pill? Uh-oh. How do you like them apples, poodles? You fool! The aerosol is highly unstable! The whole thing is gonna blow! I can't let Poodles get away! A crazy villain like her should be behind bars getting the best rehabilitation my tax dollars can buy! Not so fast, Poodles Galore! impenetrable force field protecting my moon base. I'm snug as a bug and have plenty of time to devise my revenge. Let's see. There's always Operation Beauty Bark. How diabolical. A fingernail recognition device. Uh-oh, I hear a guard coming.
My spy watch is beeping. I hope it's not a telemarketer. Please stand by. Come in, Spy Fox. Hello, Monkey Penny. Say, you look like you're in a mess. That's the super mess, Spy Fox. I'm right outside the moon base, but I can't get through the force field. I'll deactivate that force field just as soon as I can. I have to get in first, then figure out the special fingernail scanning device. Good luck, Spy Fox. We're all behind you on this one. This is the keypad that controls the door to the control room. That opened the door. I'm in there like swimwear. This is Poodle's Moon Base Control Center. I need to turn the force field off so Monkey Penny can land the super spy mess. There's a room with a surveillance monitor over there. Think I'll do a little sightseeing, spy style. Ow! Oh! The humanity! Potatoes! I've been pummeled by an enormous pink powder puff. What a humiliating trap! Well, there is no way to get to that surveillance monitor without pulling the plug on that powder puff first. Interesting. That switch didn't seem to do anything. I suppose there is a remote chance that it's a remote switch. That funny little switch in the other room must have opened this closet. Those look like perfume bottles. They must really be important to keep locked up like this. And you never know when a little perfume might come in handy. Cultivated yet boorish. That perfume bottle fit perfectly. I think it turned this machine off. Ingenious! That perfume bottle was really a dyotic stopulator in disguise. That pulled the plug on Poodle's pink puff of doom. Now I can continue my mission. Okay, Powder Puff, give me all you've got. Ah! Heh, it was just a little powder. The Dionic Stopulator disguised as a perfume bottle did the trick. Poodle's Powder Puff is out of commission. This must be Poodle's security center. She must have surveillance cameras set up all around her moon base. I hope he knows we're on the metric system. These buttons scroll through the different surveillance cameras Poodles has set up around her moon base. He'll never fix it that way. A moment can feel like an eternity. I know just how he feels. I wonder if there are any pancakes in there. Dig, 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 dig. 
He's making me sleepy. There's a party on the planet and everyone's invited. It's a close-up of Poodles Galore's fingernails. I need to paint mine exactly like hers so I can deactivate the force field. This looks like an with This allows me to pick yellow that painted my fingernails and they look pretty. Yellow moons. Now that's trend setting. It worked. Now to muzzle that poodle for good. Monkey Penny, the force field is down. Sick him. Copy that, Spy Fox. We're in there like swimwear. Hey, that's my... Oh, never mind. What? What is going on? Oh, the chump that turned the force field off. I'm that chump, poodles. You again! This time I'll take care of you myself! I must warn you that I am an expert in cock-a-doodle poo. Not so fast, poodles. Monkey Penny, it really wasn't necessary. I was using the Spy Play Possum maneuver. Sure, Spy Fox. Would you believe the Limp Biscuit maneuver? Mm-hmm. How about the Dead Fish maneuver? Mm-hmm. Here, have some hard candy. Spy Fox, for your super spectacular deeds of daring do in destroying the orbiting aerosol can and capturing that pernicious poodles galore, I present you the really big award of stupendous merit. Thanks, Chief. Now what are you going to do? I think I'll take a vacation. I'm dog tired. You lived his life well.